Hey guys, welcome back to this channel, now I will give some knowledge about KVK fighting. And for me personally this is the most fun thing in this game, especially if you can kill lots of enemy troops and get good rewards. Before that I want you to know, that in the early few months of playing, I was just like all the other low spenders, to get a lot of rewards can only rely on the mega rally from the big spender, because if soloing seems impossible, only suicide and a little reward. Until I finally learned by doing tests, reading reports, and doing lots of comparisons. And the results are now arguably easy to predict the outcome of the battle. As you can see after scouting we can see a number of things the opponent has, such as the type of troops and tiers, the guards he uses, and some statistics, namely research, lord talents, equipment, buildings, and curiosity. And that is enough to find out what can happen and what can be done to fight. For now, these are three important things that are our reference, whether it is the enemy's stats are higher, lower, or maybe almost the same. First, equipment, then buildings, then curiosity, for equipment I am lower but the difference is not too much, while for building and curiosity I am much better, it is clear that he doesn't have a new coat of arm and curiosity, because I already have it. Maybe many do not know, that for building statistics it is a combination of the glory banner and coat of arm, so from some of those things we can do comparisons and do analysis. Before carrying out an attack we should check and maximize everything we have, and try to make no mistakes or shortcomings. And sometimes we have to wait for the right time, for now I am waiting for the second march to almost arrive, that's because I know the second march has no airship, so after I kill all the troops in the tower, then the march will attack me without airship and I will win easily. If someone sends reinforcements do a check following the line, make sure it won't make any major changes to the opponent's tower. Or we can scout again to see if there are changes. Don't forget to activate the life preserver talent, it will add 30% battlefield treatment, it did not affect the outcome of the battle but would increase the status of the dead troops to injury until the hospital was full, and after the hospital was full, it would be sent to the sanctuary. We already know the opponent is using cavalry guards and has a lot of cavalry troops in the tower, and we have two options against it, using cavalry guards too, or an and Aramis which are infantry guards with skills that can coordinate with other units, and it is very suitable to be combined with cavalry and it is much better to fight cavalry. After all, this first attack seems to be a suicide, so it is better to sacrifice some infantry. Not a full cavalry. Always do use the march speed up lest any unexpected reinforcements be made, and try to get our attacks to arrive in 5 seconds or less, and at least under 10 seconds. I'm actually a bit slow, due to some technical glitch on my device, but I was lucky to be able to make a second attack, before his support march reached the tower. After finishing immediately pull the troops. Because the original plan was only to kill the opponent's troop for reward. 11 rewards, and still less than 800 million points for the next reward.
You need to remember, before doing this, it's a good idea to look at your preparations, such as speed up and resources to rebuild. This was the report of receiving a hit, and the opponent without airship. Only lost a few troops. Honestly, I can't always get 2 B points or full reward, but at least 1 B reward like now, it depends, whether there are still opponents who are not too difficult to kill or not, and how many speed up preparations I have. For resources I'm not worried because I have quite a lot of farm accounts. And for the farm account I have maximized the resources generated through the catacombs. It produces a lot of food and wood. If you don't know, you can watch the video on how to solve catacombs quickly. And don't let you attack players who are in the same kingdom as you, because you will not get reward points. And always pay attention to the situation around you. Because there could be a mega garrison loose or timed out. Or look at the outskirts of the forest. Maybe there is a castle that can be hit, which is quite weak and doesn't have too many troops, it rarely happens but sometimes I find it, and it's like luck, usually in the first minute KVK starts, and sometimes players who just teleported from another kingdom. Don't forget to heal the injured troops in the hospital. Especially if planning to carry out another attack, because if not, then the wounded troops will immediately enter the sanctuary, although removing them doesn't need resources but it will take a while. Use population surge when you want to heal lots of troops or train a lot of troops. And replace equipment to save resources and healing time. You can see the function of each equipment.
if you find only a few troops like this then it's not worth using a speed hit. It's best to wait until there are enough troops. I personally have a goal of reaching 2 billion points per kvk, and by losing March 1st or about 100 million in power. Because as a non-spender without buying a speed up, I can only collect free speed up every day from royal expeditions and some events. And before doing kvk I must save at least 5000 speed up to restore all the troops were dead, according to the power loss. Right now I've actually reached the limit of my planned power, and next have to find an opponent that is easier to kill. Or if there is no opponent who is easy to kill must be satisfied with only 11 rewards, but there is another way, namely by hitting tiles, even though it's boring but it's better, because there are no troops who die, all of them are only injured if you send according to the maximum number of hospital capacity. And all you need to provide are resources, and healing speed up. and must be diligent in checking, because a good opportunity will not last long, especially if many already know this method, for old kingdoms there are usually those who are experienced, although not all, because there are also old players who are afraid of losing troops, and immediately run away when there is an attack, so don't be surprised if you see something like that. And I salute to see this one player, he returned to the tower, I hope he also gets a decent reward. This time he's doing a mega garrison, but there is a weakness, which is only a few tier 12 cavalry, for tier 12 infantry and tier 11 cavalry it won't be a problem. Because I know from the report he doesn't have any war books for it. If you don't know about the importance of war books, please see my video which discusses war books. And to face his cavalry this is the best guard. With a combination formation of infantry and cavalry. My target has been achieved which is to get all the rewards, and all of you can try this method even though it is non-spender, with normal statistics, knowledge, and some preparation of course. You can see in this report, I only lost 100,000, and 200,000 were injured. And the victims were infantry. And you can see for yourself the opponent's defeat from that report. And this one my troops were only killed 17,000. Even though the number of my troops is less. And you can study the report yourself, what went wrong and where the shortcomings, if you pay attention to all my videos, you will surely understand. And now if you do not know what is expected of all these kvk reward, let me clear a little bit, for the 11th and 12th reward or 1 billion and 2 billion reward points there is an intensity gear level 6. You can check the total of 3 if you get all the rewards. 
and after collecting 10 pieces you can install them on the airship, which will increase your damage, it is very important for battle and has quite a large impact. And their big spenders don't hesitate to spend a lot of money to get level 7 and 8 intensity gear during the pirate chest event so that they have higher damage. And the last information, this is the total power lost, less than 100 million, because the injured troops at the sanctuary were not counted, I hope all this information useful and you can have fun and grow more quickly, although without spending a lot of money, and can do better than before. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.